education is a tool of liberation education is uh, an instrument that empowers the individual once you get education you will never be the same again once you get education you will be the one now articulating your own development trajectory uh, the infrastructure did not match with this dream with this vision so Therefore, we needed to do something different. And government opted for Faraba as an alternative, as the, 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 the home of the University of Gambia, the final destination. Faraba is uh, more than an upgrade. Faraba is one of the best campuses in the sub-region. Faraba is a conducive environment in the sense that you have different campuses where you can interact with students directly and indirectly. There's a big difference between them. Comparing the structures, the ventilation, the spacious classes, the lecturing materials. So there's a big of a difference. The place is very spacious and then the school is clean, neat, people are interacting. There's like a community here, a university community. So we have more um, chances to connect with each other and to build more rapports with each other. Students of the University of Gambia will no longer be humiliated or will no longer be squishing one another, will no longer be scrambling or hustling or hustling for limited spaces uh, of what we had. Uh, uh, in Brikama, in MDI, and other places. Every school have your own. School of Education, School of Business and Public Administration, School of Arts and Science. Now they can conveniently walk and sit in a classroom that is spacious, that has all the learning equipment that are necessary to deliver, I mean, a, a better learning. A place you, you call home, you know, and uh, you look at the comfort, you know, you are going to have there. As a lecturer, you come from your office, prepare your lessons, go into a classroom where you have smart boards, internet or projectors, you know, you sit at a corner, interact with the students, interact with other parts of the world, you know, and um, everything is sort of seamless. So that is what we have now, you know, so I think um, it calls for a celebration. Faraba has that advantage. It's an academic setting. You know, it would, uh, for the studious uh, uh, student, this is the opportunity to, we know how we live. You know, you hardly have, you know, quiet moments or quiet corners even in the house. So, but at Faraba, you can decide to go in the morning uh, with the first bus, uh, if you are free from lectures, and get a nice corner or under some tree, and spend the whole day, day reading <laughs> if you have uh, the right infrastructure if you have modern infrastructure you know uh, complemented with uh, uh, the, the right equipment i mean in the sky is the limit for teaching and learning there's a strong correlation between environment where learning takes place and learners the environment must be stimulating must be conducive to be able to accommodate the learners and those that are delivering that service to be able to get what they actually uh, desire to get. Everything that we need basically it's here so it boosts people's morale to be able to learn and achieve more with such a campus that we have here and we have um, a library that is really magnificent honestly so I think for me personally it would give me more boost more of um, my interest to be able to learn and achieve more. It has everything that is needed, you know, for students to have that conducive learning. Uh, if you looked at the theaters we have here, if you looked at the labs we have, if you looked at, uh, um, I mean, the cafeterias, I mean, uh, the environment itself is spacious. 
students can best utilize this place to ensure that they get the requisite knowledge that they actually aspire for. If you look at what this university is bringing to Faraba, it's not only for the benefit of Faraba, it's for the benefit of the whole country, but it is going to com make a complete revolution of the area. We have an area where it was almost neglected. Now you have a university coming there, the main university campus that is going to house uh, the whole of the University of the Gambia. All the schools will be there. So infrastructurally, what this is doing is actually bringing development to our doorsteps. If you look at the university, what it comes with, the other peripheral uh, development that come with the university, uh, this, is, this is marvelous. Under the Farabambanta project, uh, a total of 18 UTG staff benefited from uh, various programs, PhDs and Masters. 11 benefited from uh, doctorate programs, uh, 8 benefited from Masters programs. There was also another area which is important in the uh, soft component, that is the curricular review. Under the curricular review, the University of Ibadan after a competitive bidding process was awarded the assignment to review the entire curricula for UTG, which involved over 80 programs. Then there is the third area under the soft component, which is called the, the twinning arrangement. Under this arrangement, the University of Gambia senior management staff were able to visit universities in Ghana, universities in Nigeria and Turkey. We're learning from some of these universities in terms of best practice, so we can implement some of these um, practices at the University of, of, of the Gamma. Quite happy, and the Governing Council is quite pleased with the with the way that students and staff have, you know, embraced, you know, the U7. Uh, and uh, uh, we hope uh, that uh, they will all ensure that uh, it's properly maintained, you know, facilities are properly handled. This is unprecedented in the history of the Gambia, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the tip of the iceberg. We are yet to finish with Faraba. This is just lot one. Uh, education is uh, a priority for this government, I want to believe, uh, because a government that has shown commitment, that has shown that foresight and steadfastness to ensure that it deliver an infrastructure that will basically be there to transform the lives of her people, I think the government need to be commended. 2024 is a year of delivery, and especially from my, the light will be shining from Faraba and wherever you are in the Gambia, Banjul to Base, you will be hearing the bell ringing from Faraba campus in celebration of excellence and science.